Lortac. By default, we have so many ranges. I mean, we have everything from Orkney straight the way through to contemporary. We do stone set to enamel, silver to gold, platinum, higher grade metals. So we really are a one-stop shop. We do everything. So that is probably what makes us different. If you were in the South England, you'd choose one or the other. Whereas here, we've just grasped everything and everything's done in house. So therefore, you don't have to rely on a stone setter, you don't have to rely on an enameler, you don't have to rely on casters. You have everything under one roof. We are always inspired by where you live, but the, the, when you're doing work that's bespoke, people are living in different areas. The internet has made the world small, so they can send you messages back and forth in seconds, and we can use their inspiration and where they live to give them the same feeling of what their hometown is, is what we feel about ours. So we're now letting other people take their inspiration to us. We're mainly UK, but we do have a, a Japanese, set of clients that are now starting to get very excited about Ortac and the both Scotland in general and will be and more say the UK and we're starting to push back into the American markets. There's been a Celtic resurrection if you want. They're all starting to look at their history and thinking that they need to know more about where their people came from and we're we've already got that history here so we've done all those designs so it's it's new to them even though it feels old to us. Next 50 years, where do you see the company in, in, in 50 years from now? Well, hopefully, <laughs> next 50 years I'll be retired. <laughs> but I hope that it goes from strength to strength. I, I, I really think it should be built on and get bigger, be back to where it was, be back to a leader. And uh, if we're just sensible about the way that we expand and use all the modern technologies, I believe that Ortac will still be here in 50 years, without a doubt.